Right, so hi everybody and welcome back to the uh, function, functional anatomy and sporting movement analysis unit. So this is week number two and I hope um, that you had time to look around the Moodle page, uh, look for the main most important uh, links and information that you need to kind of engage with this unit and uh, so just quickly uh, there is a welcome message here um, if you haven't watched it yet maybe it's worthwhile um, then again there is the FASMA uh, unit timetable here again this is very important um, we are here so we've done the kind of unit open the, the unit open last week and then this week we're going to do some reading as well um, in terms of the main kind of uh, links to get information about the unit one is the announcement forum and the second one is the Lino eboard and I'm very happy that you've already been using it and uh, uh, as you can see people left messages with a using a sticker like that there, there. Um, and I replied give me some information give me some files so I think that works. That works very well, and I kind of like it. But today, to go back to the main um, topic for today, we are um, essentially moving from a more functional anatomy-related kind of topic that we did. You did last week, so you went through the the quiz already, um, and um, got not all of you did. So please go on and, and do it. It's not important. If you haven't done it yet, you can also do it in the next weeks and you can redo it if you want. It's not really anything that will give you a mark, but it's probably useful to get a grasp of your um, knowledge in terms of functional anatomy. Again, there are activities as well. You can watch the previous video to, to know how to use them. But what about this week? So, um, as I told you last week, so I opened and read the topic two last week. Um, because I thought that some of you wanted already to kind of get ahead a bit and do some uh, biomechanics, very keen to do that. Um, and uh, But today, today so from today onwards till like uh, next Monday, we're gonna focus on getting to basic concepts of essentially mechanics, because mechanics is the base of biomechanics. And uh, I think it's very important for you to refresh some key concepts there in relation to mechanics. Um, I included some nice pictures and videos that would be mainly used next week for the discussion event, as you can see, week three discussion event. So for this week, really what I would like you to do is to kind of um, focus on those kind of links. I included some tutorials that you have my, my have already seen and watched. Um, are uh, tutorials again, related to very kind of a basic concept related to mechanics, I guess, but you know, the central mass is also a concept that is very much used in biomechanics as well, and the calculation is exactly the same, but it's easy to see things in, in this way. Uh, what was torque? Torque is very important when we want to understand what our muscles are doing at the joint level. So. The muscles are, you know, linear force generators, so they generate linear force, and depending on the moment of arm that they have, they generate a torque about a joint. So it's important to have this concept. Again, another important concept would be the linear momentum. So knowing, you know, with a, with a body having a certain mass and certain velocity, what does it mean uh, from an you know, energetic perspective? Um, that's very important. Uh, to do some energy related calculations, uh, but also then to calculate, to estimate what is the average force during an impact, for example. And finally, I included um, some kind of a uh, tutorial on angular motion at torque uh, again. There will, should be like two, three minutes video, so it shouldn't be too long to, to go through them. If we go back here, then also I included a very nerdy interactive tutorial with the projectile motion. Um, I bet you're gonna love it. Um, essentially, you can understand uh, and predict uh, what's happening uh, by changing some 
some parameters to um, uh, you know to predict what's the projectile motion of an object given some initial parameters and that's you know very kind of basic as well but will give you will give you an idea uh, what it means to um, to calculate some projectile motion um, in terms of resources I have added here some Textbooks that are exactly the same of the, you know with respect to the one that I have um, I've I've added onto the assessment topic tutorials uh, sorry assessment topic um, link and but in this case in this case I have just included the biomechanics one and uh, there are two of them that are av available online here very good uh, the two chapters in this case and two full books that are available online here this is not available online but you know there are plenty of um, uh, kind of chapters and you know and, and books to, to use. In this case, I think for you know for this week, the uh, planar kinematics chapter here is very important. And um, these ones are quite a lot of journal articles. I'm not asking you to read them now. Um, this is not important for for this task really, uh, but would be useful to give you information. Um, and to do some tasks in the future. What really want to, to do today, um, this week, is to read those journal articles. So journal articles, journal articles kinematics, journal art articles, kinetics. For the kinematics one, I have um, identified for you two of them, and uh, and there are some formative questions, and the same thing um, thing has been done for um, the kinetics one here. Got three of them here for the kinetics one, and again there are some formative questions. So you read them, you you, you look at the formative question, and what you what I'm asking asking you to do is then to to use two different Lino uh, eboards to then try to answer uh, those questions. Uh, again, it, this is formative; it's a formative exercise. There is no mark, but I think it would be good if you you know kind of can try to reply quite briefly to the to the questions and. Um, so that if you reply, that's your reply. Um, then I can uh, give you some feedback, uh, hopefully almost in real time, on your answers. Okay. Perfect. Um, so really, this is the task for today, for this week, is just to essentially look at some tutorials if you haven't done it yet. Um, you, and then read some journal articles and, and uh, answer to some questions that I've posed there for you. Also, last thing, uh, if you really have time and you want to go through other kind of type of resources, I have um, included some links to different um, recorded lectures. Um, some of the lectures uh, have been recorded by myself, other from other lecturers, um, but you know, they are kind of related to the main concepts uh, that will be useful uh, to know and to talk about also during your assessment and if you've got any, you know, uh, question, those kind of lectures could be very useful as well. Um, Alright, I think that's everything for today. As usual, I'm very, you know, happy for you to contact me either via email or using the Lino eboards um, or if you want to phone me as well uh, that's not a problem at all uh, I'm very happy to set up a Skype call or a phone call if you need um, right so enjoy this week and uh, see you soon